Hello everyone and welcome to another Nothing But Fish and another little how to slash tips and tricks thing from me. So still not on the bank, but I should be next week for the first time in over two months since my back surgery. So I cannot wait to get out on the bank. Today I'm de-spooling and re-spooling my reels. I'm not going to show you the re-spooling part because there's loads of videos on that already. But the way I de-spool my reels, I don't think I've seen like a full video on it before. So uh, this is no means the only way you can de-spool your reels. There's several ways to do it, but this is the way I've done it for years. The most stress-free and uh, damage limitation to my reels. I've seen some people using hot knives and things to cut line. Don't want to risk doing that, so this is how I do it. Now to start with, you'll need a drill. some sellotape and an empty toilet roll. Now there's one more optional extra to make this whole process a little less laborious and it's not for everyone but it's definitely for me. First things first, get your drill and put the toilet roll on the end of it. Now it fits absolutely perfect on my drill, so I don't need to put anything on there to keep it in position, but if it is a little bit loose, you can just tape it on so it holds it in place. Now what this is gonna do is act as basically a little spool to take the line off and wrap it around this. And I'll explain why it's good to do it on this once I've done it. Next, you take your line, take it out of the clip, put it onto the toilet roll, and this way I use a little bit of tape to hold it in position like so and that is pretty much it all I've got to do now is take the line off of my spool start off slowly make sure it's working fine not catching on anything and if you want to pick up the pace there we go slowing down from towards the end and there we go, all sorted. Cut your line off the reel. I forgot to bring the scissors out. And there we go. Now why it's so good to do it on the toilet paper roll is that one, you can slide it straight off. It might be a little bit tighter once this line's on there. But once it's off like so, you can crush in the uh, roll and push it out the middle and there you have all your line there. And the next stage is to recycle it. Now this is something that has been quite big in the fishing world now, making sure that we do the best thing with our line because not only is it gonna it's environmentally friendly, it's going to save the wildlife and things, but it also gives us anglers a good name. So it's, it's horrible seeing line just bunged into the hedge of fishing. I despise people that do that or leave any kind of rubbish around. So it's very easy to do. That is now all bundled up nice and neat. I'm going to put that in a bag of all the rest of my old line and make sure I take it to my nearest line disposal centre. I'm going to leave a link below for the uh, National Line Recycling Scheme. It's a great cause and it's very, very easy to do, so make sure you do it. So that is how I take my line off my reels. I'm about to re-spool all six of them, so I'm gonna be here all afternoon, but I hope that's given you a little idea of another way you can take line off your reels, and I hope that helped. Cheers for watching, and see you again soon.